Okay, today I'm going to be showing you these two shampoos and uh, one conditioner from Vetnik Plus Labs. Um, so these are kind of um, ditch the itch shampoos. Um, one is anti-yeast, antibacterial, antifungal. So if your dog has skin issues um, caused by one of these, these three things, um, they're not going to naturally go away. You're going to need something that's medicated in a way that's going to kill those. Um, and then eventually the dry skin will heal up and go away. This is a great option for that. Um, we have a lot of issues with our dog's ears. They tend to get yeasty. Um, so using a little bit of shampoo while they're bathing to get into those ears helps clean that out and um, kill the yeast so that they're not getting that gunk buildup and having that uncomfortable itch. Um, so this is definitely a, a great way to do that. Um, they do have like liquid that you can squirt in there as well from this brand. Um, but we found that using a shampoo along with those, kind of combining the two, just gives you extra fighting power and it cleans it out faster and keeps it clean. Um, this other one is just kind of a soothing shampoo. Um, it's not going to you know, kill anything if they're yeasty or bacteria um, on their skin, um, but it's going to, if they maybe have seasonal allergies where they get dry skin, um, or some dogs just have naturally dry skin. Um, this is going to kind of give those nutrients back to that skin, allow it to heal, get that dry flakiness to go away. So this is definitely a great option if you know that it's just maybe a seasonal allergy and not something, you know, bacterial or fungal. Um, but they both work really well. They both smell pretty good. Um, they're kind of floral. So it's not going to only make your dog smell good. It's going to make their skin healthier and make them happier. Um, the shampoo is kind of along the same lines as or the conditioner, sorry, is the same lines as the shampoo, where it's uh, this one doesn't really kill the fungal bacteria, um, yeasty infections, um, but if they do have really dry skin from allergies, this is going to just add another extra boost of nutrients in there. Um, so these are all three safe for both dogs and cats. Um, our one puppy came to us from a shelter. Uh, where she was, you know, maybe not brushed a lot and maybe not in the cleanest conditions. So having a nice shampoo and conditioner to help get all of that gunk and dirt off the fur and give those nutrients back to the skin was really nice. Um, within a couple washes, um, we did it like every week um, to kind of just spread it out, let make sure everything's absorbing. Um, it took that dry skin away, and now that that's fixed, we can do them kind of as a normal bath schedule. Um, you know let their skin naturally have their oils on them um, and every once in a while when they need a little extra kick of nutrients you know bust this out and use it um so i highly recommend them um, i've been really enjoying this brand i've used a bunch of their other things um one thing that's great to use with the shampoo is their brushes um this particular one is their deep fur so if you have a long-haired cat or a long-haired dog um using this uh, because it's like a soft silicone rubber you can really work the conditioner and shampoo deep into the fur, um, down to their undercoat, um, as well as just get the loose shedded fur out. Um, so this is just a great combination with these shampoos to really get your dog skin and coat healthy. Um, so please check the links down below. I highly recommend them. It's the Vetnik Plus Labs shampoos and conditioners.